to the southern snack where life is too short to be serious. Now, usually on Red Cup Day, I just buy one coffee, right? One coffee, we call it a day. It's a good life, right? We're happy, we're done. And we talk about this Red Cup for like five minutes. We go on tangents and blah, 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 blah. Today, we're changing it up. Um, my review on TikTok for Starbucks for their, their newer menu items, it blew up. It went, it went viral. And people were mostly happy. One of the frustrations and disappointments people had was I didn't try any of the classic flavors, uh, aside from white peppermint mocha, which I wanted to try because I wanted to see like how it would be with like white chocolate, I guess. So now today, we're going to talk about the Red Cup, you know, look at it and everything. We'll, we'll take a look. But after we do that, we're going to dive into five classic favorite flavors that are back. Five holiday classics that have returned. That people were like, why didn't you try this one? Why didn't you try this one? And I have to keep telling them, well, I've tried it in the past. Okay, we're going to do this again. We're going to reel it back in, kind of do a little recap of the years, I guess. Um, I wish I had all my red cups with me to recap those too. But hey, that's for another day. I gotta find. I, I swear I got the one in 2019, and I cannot find that sucker. So we're gonna go try and find out where that thing is hiding. And then once I find that, next year we'll be back and we'll uh, we'll we'll show them all off. So this is like the seventh year they've done a free red cup. I think they started in 2018. Um, but I mean, as far as the research, I don't think it goes back before 2018. If, you, if I'm wrong, let me know. They've been doing holiday, regular holiday cups, non-plastic giveaways, uh, for how many years now? Um, for 25 years, over 25 years? So I know that for a fact, so. All right. Now you may be wondering, how many free cups did I get for my order? They gave me five. I, I, I didn't know you know, every holiday drink you got, you got one of these. So now I'm I'm trying to find family members to give four other cups that I don't need. I literally bought these for you guys. These 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 drinks are for you. So anyways, uh, we'll start with peppermint mocha. Go from there. Um, and I'm gonna need a straw for that. Because I'm thinking that through. Only one has a little lid that you can drink out of, so. Peppermint mocha. Your traditional peppermint mocha. It's bursting with peppermint flavor. You've got that really nice semi-sweet dark chocolate. And it's it's a holiday tradition for some. It is I, I would say I like it more than pumpkin spice. They do a very good job on pumpkin spice. But I I just like the depth of the flavor. So it's always going to be a 10, right? All right. Um, I'm going to save. I'm going I'm to troll and save the sugar cookie for last. We're going to go to gingerbread next. They had this a while, long time ago. Then it disappeared off the menu. And they brought it back last year. And they've decided we'll have it again this year. Um, so gingerbread. Now, a lot of people like this with the chai. I loved it with the chai as far as I can remember. I think I gave it a 10. It's still really solid with the latte. I think I was disappointed with it last year. But it's really coming through today. It's definitely like a nice ginger spice, you know, cookie notes. Yeah. Maybe a little heavy on the ginger, but it's good. Yeah, I, I would say, I give it eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half works very, very solid. Um, not for everyone, but anyone that likes gingerbread should be happy. All right, caramel brulee. Some people love this one hot. Um, looking at you, Michaela. Anyways. It's so indulgent. It's... Essentially, like if there's anything that you could really compare it to, it's like toffee. Very rich blend. I 
I would say it's, imagine if you, and I know this is a new product. Imagine the Dulce de Leche Frappe from, store, uh, from McDonald's that they're doing. Imagine that with a little bit of a toned down. That was my issue with the, the drink from McDonald's. Just way too sweet. Um, just the flavor is just like, boom. But this is just a little bit more kicked back. And it's just genuinely delicious. Um, easy 10. I can see why you get nice warm vibes from like when you get the warm the hot drink why you like that um just because it's like, kind, of, kind of like a melty caramel candy so that makes sense too but yeah there's a reason why that one comes back every year y'all probably think i'm a simp for all of these drinks just you wait it's coming the hammer is coming down on the last one but for now we're doing chestnut praline so yeah Again, a very, very nice beverage. Nutty. One of their better nutty flavors. I thought pecan was okay. I thought it was decent. Talking about chestnut praline is just different, right? I am pistachio. I love the pistachio. I'm sure that will be back early next year. But yeah, it's got a very defined note to it. I wouldn't say I love as much peppermint or caramel brulee, um, but I do give it a side edge over the gingerbread. It's a nine. All right, so you got my approval on those. There was never a question. There was never a doubt in my mind. This one, especially on TikTok, is going to make people just a little upset with my, my sense of judgment here. Um, sugar cookie latte. Let's go for it again. To me, and, and I say this time and time again, it doesn't really give off sugar cookie vibes. I don't know if it's the almond milk, um, which almond milk, it shouldn't really throw it off because I know I had a, uh, whatever Duncan did with almond milk with a cookie. Thing. I, I had said it tasted like crumbles almond uh, pink sugar cookie this just doesn't really add up as much right it mostly just tastes like butter and vanilla and sure those are elements in a sugar cookie but they're just not gelling together as well as they should this one's definitely more buttery than the one I had the other day. Uh, other day it was very vanilla forward, but I've never really, just, I've never loved this one, and it's okay. There's some interesting elements to it. I would give it like a six. It's it's decent. It's different, but to me, as much as you may disagree, I just don't see sugar cookie. I've never seen sugar cookie out, out of this. It's never it's never given me the vibe, oh, this is a sugar cookie. Wow, they did that so well. No, for me, it's just never been that. But everything else, I, I, I love these classic flavors. And there's a reason why they bring them back. Sugar cookie, I don't know. I don't understand why. But other than the, that people simp over it, and they may get mad if they get rid of it. But I don't know. Everybody's like, you should try sugar cookie. And I'm like, I've tried it and I've never been impressed. Anyways, uh, do we do we look at this again? Uh, if I failed you, I failed you. And I apologize. I feel like it did fail you. Um, but that's the red cup. Buy a holiday drink. Get it for free. Go now because I don't think it usually makes it through the day. Especially if your employees are doing this for every holiday drink you buy. Oh boy. You're in trouble if you don't go now. Anyways, I'll see y'all around.